Hey guys. Hey, Chick. Hey, Benjamin. Just getting all fancy and crap with my Zoom screen. Hello. Form in back of it. Oh, Hello. yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, get... how you doing, Benjamin? Did you remember this time or was my reminder helpful? that i'm right in the middle of fixing a uh, bathroom in one of the units that i work at so always running around okay. these buildings. So just listen absolutely yeah i'm covered in um caulking and paint so i'm just gonna <laughs> all right Hare krishna if you have any questions you know check it out we got uh we got another potential hopefully his name is eric long time devotees just now coming back to krishna conscious he asked uh he asked um Ashley, about cool. verse here. We're on a, what text one, right? Starting chapter eleven. We're in chapter eleven right now. Yeah. I think I'm gonna close some of these programs because the audio is kind of cutting out. Your video just switched to the uh, Sony Handycam. Oh yeah. Chapter 11. I just finished a Chaitanya Bhagavat. Oh, nice. 108 hours long. <laughs> Very auspicious. Yeah, good number. <laughs> I told uh, my mentor from Ukraine, uh, Adi Purusha, he's like a traveling preacher. He's got parents in Lviv. That's on the western side. And uh, he said there's some bread shortages and some bombs going off. But other than that, it's pretty peaceful compared to the eastern part of the country. So let me see if I can pull up this uh, thing here. Oh, here's Eric. Let me see if he's here. Eric, are you here? Looks like the audio is connecting. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Eric. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Hare Krishna, accept my obeisances. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Eric, hey, what's going? Hey, Eric, Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Eric, hey, what's going? Hey, Eric, Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Eric, what's going? Hey, Eric, Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Oh. What was that? <laughs> Eric, what was that? <laughs> anyway, I guess we're getting a little bit of feedback here. But uh, anyway, can you hear me and you, can you see the screen, Eric? Okay, cool. If you wanna jump in, I don't know what's causing that echo, but uh, you know, they have the same problem at the Bhakti Center. They have a Zoom class in New York City. Are you familiar with the Bhakti Center? Yeah, they, uh, they have a class every morning. I'll send you the link if you, uh, if you text me your, uh, oh, I've got your text. I'll, they have a, I, I join on the weekends because I'm usually working in the morning, but uh, he, they have a program at 7 a.m. lasts for an hour. And uh, it's a pretty ecstatic program. They got so many wonderful young people there in New York uh, that are just engaged all the time. I, I can't imagine, you know, there's my friend who lives there. His name is Adi Prusha. Are you, do you know him, Adi Prusha? He live, he's an old Brijabasi, but anyway, um, from New Vrindavan, 
but he has been running a prashadam distribution program in New York City in the Lower East Side where Prabhupada started the movement in Tompkins Square Park. And uh, so he's been doing that for 20 years. And he's making a lot of devotees that way because, you know, they get engaged in service. Half of them don't even know that it's connected with the Bhakti Center, but they find out sooner or later and then they start attending the classes. Okay, so um, do you want to start us out here, um, Mike? Uh, sure. All right. <clears throat> Okay, Universal Form, Chapter 11, Text 1. Arjuna Uvacha, Mad Anuguru Haya Paramam, Guyam Ad Yatma Samjnitam, Yat Cham Yachas Tena, Moho Yam Vigato Mama. Synonyms Arjuna Uvacha, Arjuna said, Mat Anugra Haya, just to show me favor, Paramam, Supreme, Guyam, confidential subject. Adhyatma, spiritual, samjnitam, in the matter of yat, what, jvaya, by you, uktam, said, vacha, words, tena, by that, moha, illusion, ayam, this, igata, is removed, mama, my. <clears throat> Translation. Arjuna said, by my hearing the instructions you have kindly given me about these most confidential spiritual subjects, my illusion has now been dispelled. Purport. This chapter reveals Krishna as the cause of all causes. He is even the cause of the Mahavishnu from whom the material universes emanate. Krishna is not an incarnation. He is the source of all incarnations. That has been completely explained in the last chapter. Now, as far as Arjuna is concerned, he says that his illusion is over. This means that Arjuna no longer thinks of Krishna as a mere human being, as a friend of his, but as the source of everything. Arjuna is very enlightened and is glad that he has such a great friend as Krishna, but now he is thinking that although he may accept Krishna as the source of everything, others may not. So in order to establish Krishna's divinity for all, he is requesting Krishna in this chapter to show his universal form. Actually, when one sees the universal form of Krishna, one becomes frightened like Arjuna. But Krishna is so kind that after showing it, he converts himself again into his original form. Arjuna agrees to what Krishna has several times said. Krishna is speaking to him just for his benefit. So Arjuna acknowledges <clears throat> all that is happening to him by Krishna's grace. He is now convinced that Krishna is the cause of all causes and is present in everyone's heart as the super soul. So Eric, where did you meet the devotees? What's your background? Well, um, in 1993, I went to hardcore shows a lot. <laughs> All right. Well, so did uh, so did uh, my friend Mike here. Yeah, big Shelter fan. Yeah, absolutely. I saw you know 108 and all those bands back in the day, and I was yeah 18 or whatever at the time, and uh, I was very uh, very interested in all that stuff. But it just wasn't the time I think for me. I don't know. I tried to go to the temple a few times. I was totally overwhelmed. Uh, I went to the Philly Temple for Holy in the spring of 1994 and was like so mind blown. I just didn't know how to like process what I was seeing. So I was like, uh, maybe I need to walk this back a little and uh, <laughs> sort of drifted away and drifted away. And then over the last couple of years, really sort of drifted back. Now, now that I'm in my, in, my, in my mid to late 40s, it took a while, but I kind of got back to, to reading and, and, and uh, Well, you got a brother and here in, uh, in Mike, because he's been through the same thing you that you have. But uh, yeah. Krishna, you know what? Krishna is like a tar baby. You ever heard of that Uncle Remus fairy tale? Yeah. Tar -based tale? You know, the yeah. tar baby, you know, he's black, just like the tar baby. But uh, if you interact with tar baby, the more he interacts with you, the more you get stuck, and you, you, you can't you can't get away from Krishna. Sooner or later, he's going to drag you back. So that's the way it works, you know. Whether he, he has to smash everything you have, you know, get take away everything, uh, you know, make your family hate you, whatever it takes, you know. But Krishna is he's got ten arms. So if you if you want to hold on to something, good luck. But if he wants to give you something, good luck with that too, you know, because, you know, he can give you more than you can handle. But uh, he's Hari. Hari means, you know, Prabhupada was very fond of this verse, Hai Shetadanam Shnai, 
to those who I'm especially merciful, I take away everything they have. And that's what happened to Prabhupada. And, you know, he lost his family, lost his business, and he, he had no other choice. It actually happened to me, too. But, um, Eric, do you want to read? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. All right, cool. I know you, you, you know, if check it out. I mean, you, you can probably read the Sanskrit, too, can you? We do try to read the Sanskrit, like I said. Sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. I, I, start on the verse two. Let me see. Yeah, you can read the whole thing with the purport. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's see. Um Bhava Payu Hai Utanam Srutal Vistaratu Maya Tatya Tvatya Kamala Padraksa Mat Mathaima. Api Chaivayam synonyms. Uh, bhava, appearance. Apaya, disappearance. Hi, certainly. Uh, Bhutanayam, of all living entities. Uh, Shrutal, have heard. Uh, Vista Rashta, detail. Maya, by me. Uh, Tavatya, from you. Kamala, uh, Petraska, O Lotus-eyed One, um, Mahatmaim, Glories, Api also, Cha, and uh, Ivyam, Inexhaustible. O Lotus-eyed One, I have heard from you in detail about the appearance and disappearance of every living entity and have realized your inexhaustible glories. Purport. Arjuna addresses the Lord as lotus-eyed. Krishna's eyes appears like the petals of a lotus flower. Out of his joy, for Krishna has assured him in the last verse of the previous chapter that he sustains the entire universe with just a fragment of himself. He is the source of everything in this material manifestation, and Arjuna has heard of this from the Lord in detail. Arjuna further knows that in spite of his being the source of all appearances and disappearances, he is aloof from them. His personality is not lost, although he is all-pervading. That is the inconceivable opulence of Krishna, which Arjuna admits that he has thoroughly understood. Yeah, you probably recognize that word Kamala, because that's the name of our vice president, the first Asian-American woman. Right. right. To, um, yeah, her parent, I think her mother is from India. So that's pretty cool. Text three. Rivam itadrataram yatata fum atmanam parameshwara. Drastami chami te rupam aishwaram purusotama. Synonyms. Evam thus. Etat. This. Yata as it is. Ata has have spoken tuam you. Atmanam yourself. Purama ishwara. O Supreme Lord, Drastum, I see. Ichami, I wish. Te, your rupam, form. Aishwaram, divine, purushutama, O best of personalities. Translation, O greatest of all personalities, O supreme form. Though I see you here before me in your actual position, as you have described yourself, I wish to see how you have entered into this cosmic manifestation. I wish to see that form of yours. Purport. The Lord said that because he entered into the material universe by his personal representation, the cosmic manifestation has been made possible and is going on. Now, as far as Arjuna is concerned, he is inspired by the statements of Krishna. But in order to convince him, uh, convince others in the future who may think that Krishna is an ordinary person, Arjuna desires to see him actually in his universal form to see how he is acting with from within the universe, although he is apart from it. Arjuna is addressing the Lord as Purushottama is also significant. Since the Lord is the Supreme Personality of God, and he is present within Arjuna himself. Therefore, he knows the desire of Arjuna, and he can understand that Arjuna has no special desire to see him in his universal form, for Arjuna is completely satisfied to see him in his personal form of Krishna. But the Lord can understand also that Arjuna wants to see the universal form to convince others. 
Arjuna did not have any personal desire for confirmation. Krishna also understands that Arjuna wants to see the universal form to set a criterion, for in the future, there will also there would be so many imposters who would pose themselves as incarnations of God. The people, therefore, should be careful. One who claims to be Krishna should be prepared to show his universal form to confirm his claim to people. You know, some people will claim to be God. You know, they'll say, I am the supreme personality of God. I am moving the sun and I'm moving the moon. And then the next minute they get a toothache and they have to go to the dentist. So they're really not the supreme. And, you know, if they are the supreme, then lift go over downhill. Show us here in a universal form. Where, where are you indicated in the scripture? Because all incarnations are, are mentioned in the scriptures. So that's why Arjuna did this. He had no desire to see the universal form because it's awesome. So, but, um, you know, he, he did this for others' benefit. Go ahead, Mike. And this seems like a really beautiful moment in here, too, because, you know, this is kind of the moment when, you know, we see a different and a deeper degree of surrender, um, you know, on, on Arjuna's part, you know, to Krishna. And then immediately, like, you know, along with this becoming fully convinced in this deeper level of surrender, one of the first things he wants to do is to have the Lord, you know, reveal his universal form, you know, not for him, but for the benefit of others. So, you know, already having this like really kind of like deep devotee moment of wanting to do you know, have actions happen that would convince others to come to Krishna consciousness. Yeah, that's why Krishna, Krishna wants that. So yeah. a devotee, a real devotee, will want what Krishna wants him to do, hmm. which is, you know, reflect his mercy on everybody that he meets. You know, Lord Chaitanya ordered everyone, you, you know, uh, become guru and try to liberate everyone in the land. Becoming guru is not that difficult. It's just, it's just repeating what you have heard from a spiritual master, you know, and uh, we're not inventing anything. This is just Krishna's message here. And we're just the mouthpiece. We're just an instrument. And we just repeat verbatim, whatever Krishna is, is inspiring us to say in the <clears throat> scriptures, Guru Sadhu Shastra is three triangle of truth. It's three uh, triangles, three angles of that triangle. The first is a Shastra guru who is the, the uh, supreme personality of servitor godhead he's the servitor godhead he should be treated exactly as with as much respect as god because he's a dearest representative of god and then the, uh, sadhu is also representatives of god other saintly persons and then shastra what we're reading right now if these three things agree then they you know that's the truth and there's no doubt about it because it's from it's revealed from within your heart that it, it's got to be true. You know, when you know, you know, something's true, you know, when you just like, you know, George Harrison said, you know, the proof of the puddings in the tasting, you can taste it, taste and see that the Lord is good. So. Um, uh, uh, you're going to go do the purple here, right? Yeah, I'm going to do the whole thing. We haven't done the text yet. <clears throat> Can you go up a little bit? Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> okay. Manyase yari tach chakyam mayad vishtam iti prabo yogeshvara tatome tvam tarshte yatmana avyayam. Synonyms. Manyase, you think, yari, if, tat, that, chakyam is able, maya, by me, drashtam, to be seen, iti, thus, prabo, O Lord, yogeshvara, O oh, Lord of all mystic power, tata, then, me, unto me, tvam, you, darshaya, show, atmanam, yourself, avyayam, eternal. <clears throat> Translation. If you think that I am able to behold your cosmic form, O oh my Lord, O oh master of all mystic power, then kindly show me that unlimited universal self. Purport. It is said that one can neither see, hear, understand, nor perceive the Supreme Lord Krishna by the material senses. But if one is engaged in loving transcendental service to the Lord from the beginning, then one can see the Lord by revelation. Every living entity is only a spiritual spark. Therefore, it is not possible to see or to understand the Supreme Lord. Arjuna, as a devotee, does not depend on his speculative strength. Rather, he admits his limitations as a living entity and acknowledges Krishna, Krishna's inestimable position. 
Arjuna could understand that for a living entity, it is not possible to understand the unlimited infinite. If the infinite reveals himself, then it is possible to understand the nature of the infinite by the grace of the infinite. The word Yogeshvara is also very significant here because the Lord has inconceivable power. If he likes, he can reveal himself by his grace, although he is unlimited. Therefore, Arjuna pleads for the inconceivable grace of Krishna. He does not give Krishna orders. Krishna is not obliged to reveal himself unless one surrenders fully in Krishna consciousness and engages in devotional service. Thus, it is not possible for persons who depend on the strength of their mental speculations to see Krishna. Yeah, sometimes atheists will say, you know, they'll challenge the devotees and they'll say, show me God, you know, they'll be up there in their lectern and they say, may God strike me down with a thunderbolt if he doesn't appear and, and you know, and, <laughs> and of course nothing happens because God's not obliged to these guys, you know, so uh, he's not our order carrier. We are meant to serve him. That's our constitutional position. And when we are surrendered to him and serve him, then he reveals himself to us by his own will. Otherwise, we have no idea what's going on. I just talked to my friend, David Nanda Pundit, who's a singer songwriter. And uh, we're talking about the war in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, as these calamities happen all over the time, all over the top place, but uh, Krishna consciousness by the mercy of Gore and Nitai, it's like an undercurrent. It's like an iceberg. It's underneath the surface. Nobody can see it, see it, but it's there and it's making a difference, even in this age of Kali. So we just have to nourish that. And, you know, one devotee can make a big difference. And it doesn't have to be like as a politician or anything like that. Just the power of devotional service can change the world and uh, for the better, because that's what that's the way. Uh, uh, Krishna uh, works, you know, if, if the devotees really pray to Krishna, they can deliver the whole world. Uh, there was a devotee of Lord Chaitanya who was so merciful. He said, let all of the sins of every living entity be transferred to me so that they can be delivered. And uh, Lord Chaitanya accepted his request. And so Lord Chaitanya has delivered every single person in these cosmic manifestation in the, in, in the world. And so, you know, of course, they all fill up again after that. But uh, with Lord Chaitanya's movement is like kind of like a, an ocean of uh, Satya Yuga, you know, within this Iron Age. Then if you float on that ocean, then you, you're taking advantage of it. If you don't, then it says you're not going to be delivered for millions of kalpas. And that's a long, long time. <laughs> a kalpa is like one day of brahma that's four billion three hundred million years so millions of kalpas is like millions of times more than that so we should take advantage of lord chaitanya's mercy because he's the most merciful and he's giving it away freely eric you want to read text five sure uh back on text four though the um i guess prabhu is a form of prabhu sort of where we get prabhu as lord or like Someone that uh, I serve. Yeah, yeah. Prabhu means Maya Drustum Ita Prabhu. Oh Lord. You see, when he's addressing the Lord personally, uh Prabhu is like an address, I guess. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right. Um <clears throat> text five. Uh Sri Bhavagan Uvacha Pasya Me Partha Rupani. Shatyaso da Sahara Rasa uh, Nana Vidhani Divnani uh, Nana Varnakiratini Cha. Uh, synonyms uh, Sri Bhagavan Unvacha, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, said um, Pasya, just see me, my. Partha, O son of Partha, uh, Rupani forms, Shatasya hundreds, Atha also, uh, Sarahrashta thousands, Nanda Vindani variegated, uh, Divyani divine, Nana variegated, Varna colors, uh, Akrini 
forms cha also. Okay, translation. The Supreme Personality of God had said, my dear Arjuna, O son of Pratha, see now my opulences, hundreds of thousands of varied, divine, and multicolored forms. Purport. Arjuna wanted to see Krishna in his universal form, which, although a transcendental form, is just manifested for the cosmic manifestation and is therefore subject to the temporary time of this material nature. As the material nature is manifested and not manifested, similarly, this universal form of Krishna is manifested and unmanifested. It is not eternally situated in the spiritual sky like Krishna's other forms. As far as a devotee is concerned, he is not eager to see this universal form, but because Arjuna wanted to see Krishna this way, Krishna reveals this form. This universal form is not possible to be seen by any ordinary man. Krishna must give one power, give the one, give one the power to see it. Yeah, it's a really important point that Krishna. I was telling this uh, analogy that I kind of thought up. You know, since you're both music fans, I'll just use this analogy. It's like a club, and Krishna has his illusory energy, and it, the devotees have, are in a special club, and they can get in. They have access. Everyone else is like covered by the illusory energy, and which is like the velvet rope in the club that you can't get in without, unless you know they let you in. So you know, because Krishna doesn't want to be bothered by all these people that are like barging in on his pastime. So uh, that's the way it works. It's kind of like an exclusive uh, club. Text six: Pasyatityan Vasunrudran. Synonyms. Pasya, C, Adityan, the 12 sons of Diti, Vasun, the eight Vasus, Rudran, the 11 forms of Rudra, Asvino, the two Asvinis, Maruta, the 49 Maruts, demigods of the wind, Tata also, Bahuni, Mini, Adrista, that you have not seen, Parvani before, Pasya, C, Asharyani, all the wonders, Bharata, O best of the Bharatas. Translation, O best of the Bharatas. See here the many dif the different manifestations of Adityas, Vasus, Rudras, Ashrini Kumaras, and all other demigods. Behold the many wonderful things which no one has ever seen or heard before. Purport. Even though Arjuna was a personal friend of Krishna and the most advanced of learned men, it was still not possible for him to know everything about Krishna. Here it is stated that humans have neither heard nor known of all these forms and manifestations. Now Krishna reveals these wonderful forms. But okay, uh, text seven. The Haikastam Jagat Krishnam Pasyajasa Characharam Amadehe Gudakesha. Yachchanya drashtum ich chasi. Synonyms. Iha in this. Ikastam in one place. Jagat the universe. Kritsnam completely. Pasya si. Adya immediately. Sa with. Chara the moving. Acharam and not moving. Mama my. Dehi in this body. Gudakesha o Arjuna. Yat that which. Cha also. Anyat other. Drashtum to see. Ich chasi you wish. Translation. O Arjuna, whatever you wish to see, behold at once in this body of mine. This universal form can show you whatever you now desire to see and whatever you may want to see in the future. Everything, moving and non-moving, is here completely in one place. Purport. No one can see the entire universe while sitting in one place. Even the most advanced scientists cannot see what is going on in the other parts of the universe. But a devotee like Arjuna can see everything that exists in any part of the universe. Krishna gives him the power to see anything he wants to see, past, present, and future. Thus, by the mercy of Krishna, Arjuna is able to see everything. Yeah, he can show that to anyone uh, that he wants. In fact, one time the coward boys were playing with Krishna and uh, he ate dirt. And so they told on him, they went to Mother Yasoda and said, Krishna is eating dirt. And uh, he denied it because he's a little rascal. And so, you know, his mother told him, you know, well, if you haven't eaten dirt, let me open your mouth and let me see. 
And so he opened his mouth and she saw the entire cosmic manifestation with all of these beings and the universal form, all the modes of nature, everything within his mouth. And she thought to herself, whoa, you know, what am I seeing here? Am I crazy? Am I, no. Am I dreaming? No. Um, it, am I, you know, <laughs> and she, she concluded that, you know, whatever it is, Krishna is my son and let me offer my breast milk to him, you know, because I, I want to pet him. He's my son. So Krishna covered her over with this maternal instinct of love and devotion. And she just forgot about the whole thing. She didn't realize that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of God because Krishna wouldn't let her. She, he prefers that to a, a mood of on reverence like the Vaikuntha planets. Everybody's worshiping Vishnu or Narayan in the mood of on reverence, but he wants his devotees of Vrindavan to have a more intimate uh, thing, free from fear. So that is their relationship. And we, if we wanna have that kind of relationship with Krishna, we can do that as well. Do, just have to follow in the footsteps of those kind of devotees and have a real greed for that. Right now I'm reading this book here. Let me show you. It's the Raghavart Machandrika by Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur. It's talking about how to get that mood of the people of Vrindavan uh, and follow in their footsteps so we can attain the same thing. This is beyond the scriptures. It's actually a, a mood that's attained by intense greed. That's the price of admission for... Uh, becoming one of those intimate devotees who know only know Krishna and love Krishna alone. So, uh, is it my turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Text Thank eight. You. We got about seven minutes left here. Natumam shakshase drastum aninaiva svachakshusha divyam dadami Te chakshu pasya me yoga maishwaram. Synonyms, na, never, to, but, mum, me, shakshase, are able, drastum, to see, anena, with these, eva, certainly, svat chakshusha, by your own eyes, divyam, divine, dadami, I give, te, to you, chakshu, eyes, pasya, see, me, my, yogam, aishwaryam, inconceivable mystic power. Translation. But you cannot see me through present eyes. Therefore, I give you divine eyes. Behold my mystic opulence. We'll take turns reading the uh, purport here. I'll read the first paragraph because it's a long one. Uh, a pure devotee does not like to see Krishna in any form except his form with two hands. A devotee must see his universal form by his grace, not with the mind, but with spiritual eyes. To see the universal form of Krishna, Arjuna is told not to change his mind, but his vision. The universal form of Krishna is not very important. That will be clear in subsequent verses. Yet, because Arjuna wanted to see it, the Lord gives him the particular vision required to see that universal form. Go ahead, Mike. Devotees who are correctly situated in a transcendental relationship with Krishna are attracted by loving features, not by a godless display of opulences. The playmates of Krishna, the friends of Krishna, and the parents of Krishna never want Krishna to show his opulences. They are so immersed in pure love that they do not even know that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. In their loving exchange, they forget that Krishna is the supreme Lord. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated that the boys who play with Krishna are all highly pious souls, and after many, many births, they are able to play with Krishna. Such boys do not know that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. They take him as a personal friend, Therefore, Shukadeva Goswami recites this first. Go ahead and read the Sanskrit. Okay. Itam satam brahma sukhanu utya dasyam gatanam para daivetena maya shritanam nara darakena sakam vij haru krita punya punja. Go ahead, my Eric. Okay, the translation of that is, here is the Supreme Person who is considered the impersonal Brahman by great sages, the Supreme Personality of Godhead by devotees, and a product of material nature by ordinary men. Now these boys who have performed many, many pious activities in their past lives are playing with that Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
Yeah, that's just inconceivable. You know, you're playing with the supreme personality of God. It, you know, Krishna also blows your mind because he's performing ordinary activities like an ordinary human being, but still, you know, he he's controlling everything, and everything is within him. And numerous universes come out of the pores of the a portion of his portion of Mahavishnu with his exhale and an inhaling. So that's why we have to learn about how great Krishna is. And then, and then he'll blow our mind by just, you know, being like a henpecked husband or a little naughty boy or different things like that. But, you know, a lot of devotees are confused like that about that, but you know, that's the way Krishna attracts the attention of, of uh, conditioned souls by just displaying his wonderful pastimes and activities that attract every living entity. The fact is that the devotee is not concerned with seeing the Vishru, the universal form, but Arjuna wanted to see it to substantiate Krishna's statements so that in the future, people could understand that Krishna has not only theoretically or philosophically presented himself as a supreme, but actually presented himself as such to Arjuna. Arjuna must confirm this because Arjuna is the beginning of the Parampara system. Those who are actually interested in understanding the personality of Godhead who follow in the footsteps of Arjuna should understand that Krishna not only theoretically presented himself as a supreme, but actually revealed himself as a supreme. You know, sometimes, you know, the Parampara system gets lost. And so he has to reestablish that Arjuna established it again because the, uh, it was lost in time. The Lord gave Arjuna the necessary power to seize the universal form because he knew, knew or that Arjuna was particularly did not particularly want to see it, as we've already explained. Uh, go ahead, Mike. We have time for another one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have two minutes. You can rip through it and ask any questions. Well, actually, I, I do sort of have a question about um, what was just raised there in, in text eight. Um, so, you know, the idea that the Parampara was lost. Um, right. So, I mean, couldn't this raise potential concerns that like at any point in time, the message that one is receiving could be coming from a broken branch or a, a system in need of repair? Sure. Yeah, that's why we have the, the, we have the disciplic succession. We have a living representation of that disciplic succession, and the, we have the scripture. Uh, so that's how we can know that uh, it's bona fide. Uh, the, the, uh, it happens, you know, Prithinaya Sadhanam Binashai Tadusketam, whenever and wherever it's declined in religious principles and the rise of your religion, at that time, I descend myself to. Um, establish religious principles and to annihilate the demons. But Lord Chaitanya, he didn't do that. He just destroyed their demonic mentality. He didn't actually kill anybody. He could have, he wanted to actually, Jaga and Madai, but Lord Nityananda is so merciful that he spared them and they became great devotees, even though they were the worst drunkards and sinners on the planet at that time. But now the whole world is filled with Jagais and Madais. <laughs> so they have to uh, be... Um, you know, revived by the constant attention of the devotees and Krishna. Anyway, we've got less than a minute left here. I want to thank you both for joining and uh, hopefully see you both uh, on Friday. And also you, Benjamin, maybe we can see you in person next time. All right, Krishna. Hey, Krishna. Nice Hi, to meet Krishna. you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi, Krishna. Krishna. Take care, Thank guys. You. Love you all. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Adibo.